Hello, great people of Nigeria. Welcome to the Leadership Clinic. Today, I will be inspiring the people of this country with what I've just titled, Vote Like a Leader. Tomorrow, our country will be hosting a very important um, election in the history of our great nation. I have been everywhere listening to people all over the place. It looks like there's so much tension in the land. So today, I've decided to do a special episode, you know, just to say that our nation is a great nation, admired by the rest of the world. And we as citizens of this country, we must protect our nation at this special time. So my message to the people of Nigeria at this time will be very simple. If you have gotten your PVC ready, all you need to do is go to the polling booth and vote like a leader. How does a leader vote? The leader would ask all the questions, follow instructions. You were suppo you're supposed to do the necessary things that you're supposed to do peacefully. At the end of the day, when you have made the decision about who you're going to vote for. You just have to do that. And the moment you do that, you cast your vote. One of the greatest things I'd like to share with you is that you make sure that at the end of the day, that you are very, very, very careful about the words that come out of your mouth. You are very, very careful the way you conduct yourself. You're very, very careful, you know, the way you reply to conversations. You are very, very careful the way you make things happen. At the end of the day, please, I beg you, let us prove to the world that our country is a country of true leaders emerging. Indeed, as young people, wherever you are in this country, I want you to actually act like a leader. Refuse to be disorderly in any way. Ensure that you overcome provocations like never before because leaders would always overcome provocations. Leaders would always conduct themselves in such a way that they create things that happen within the, the environment and they don't allow reactivity to take over them. Because if you react to somebody negatively, at the end of the day, it's going to cause some trouble in that location. And one single act that you just you know perform can cause a very huge 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 trouble in the country i believe that the greatest thing that we must do right now is to vote people of honor integrity across the country at this point in time and we will do that we're having in mind that this is one nation we must love ourselves like never before in this time let it be that this is the first time in the history of our country that after we have conducted in elections at the end of the day people are embracing each other it doesn't matter who wins if we're able to do that then we're acting like leaders indeed we are true leaders indeed for the core members those who are going to be uh, members of the youth service call across this country at this special moment you're going to be playing very critical roles for our country i want to advise you like never before stand up and be counted like a leader and ensure that nobody nobody can influence you to do anything that is not right electionary offices wherever that you are i also encourage you to stand up for nigeria at this particular time, Nigeria needs to be stood up for. It is important for you to be able to do that. Stand up and make sure that you do the right thing for, uh, for the election observers that have come from all over the world. All I can also advise you is that you speak truth to power. That you ensure that every story that you will tell will be actually what has happened. Great people of Nigeria, the security operatives, whatever that you are in this country, you have to know, first of all, you are a Nigerian before you are a security personality. Stand for truth and let's make things happen for our country. Great people of Nigeria, Nigeria will pass through this process stronger, better 
like never before. May God help us in this time of great trial. Great people of Nigeria, you must remember, if a man does have a purpose of waking up, sleeping becomes interesting. <laughs>